My first New York City apartment cockroach. Guys, I had a monumental New York City moment last night that I was hoping that I would never experience. I experienced my first New York City apartment cockroach. And when I say I have never freaked out, run as fast, or been <laughs> as concerned as I was last night, I am not even kidding. I did not know what to do. This thing was like three inches long and it came out of absolutely nowhere at the time. I had no clue where it came from. Now I'm pretty sure I know where it came from because there's a bunch of holes in this back corner near my nightstand. But this thing was literally like this big, scurried across the floor. I literally jumped out of bed, slammed my bedroom door, put a towel underneath so it couldn't escape, called my boyfriend to come over and kill it. And I was legitimately sobbing the entire time. I didn't think that I would really have to deal with that kind of stuff living on the floor that I live on because I live higher up in my building. The time came and I never want to experience that again and I just felt like I needed to document this on camera because I wish I had filmed my reaction to it because honestly my reaction was pretty funny because I definitely overreact but I just simply didn't know what to do and I have a huge fear of bugs. I hate bugs. Bugs are not my thing but like if it was a spider could have killed it with a shoe obviously. If it was literally any other bug I probably could have killed it but this thing was so big and I know that they're so hard to kill and they don't go down easily. So I legitimately just had no clue what to do and absolutely panicked and freaked out and lost my mind. And legitimately considered like moving out of my apartment last night. I was like, I can't stay here if that's going to be an issue and all of that. I'm going to call an exterminator today to come and spray my apartment down just to ensure that doesn't happen. But I'm now insanely paranoid because I'm looking all over my apartment and there are just cracks all in between the floorboards and the floor and i'm like literally any bug could get in here at any time i thought i was safe being this high up because i feel like the apartments on the ground floor the lower floors definitely have like the most issues i'm sure they have like mice and cockroaches and bugs all the time but being higher up that's kind of like one of the benefits yes i have to climb the stairs but i don't really have to deal with that stuff as much and i was sadly mistaken but i just needed to document this moment i'm currently literally trying to clean out the corner and tape it i'm taping the hole shut with this for the time being until they can come and spray because i'll be damned if i experience another cockroach anytime soon i'll simply cry i will consider fully moving out at that point i don't do bugs especially bugs that big and i also just feel like i keep seeing things out of the corner of my eye i'm literally so paranoid this is not even funny. I'm not having a good time here. I feel like this is part of my New York City initiation, but also I could have just done without being initiation, like uh, initiated. Like, I don't need to be a true New Yorker. We don't need to, I'm fine being whatever I was prior to the cockroach invading my space because I truly feel like I was violated. So I'm gonna continue to pack up this hole and try to get rid of them from ever coming back. This is literally what I'm doing. I, I'll show you, I'll put a camera on. Just in case a cockroach comes out of these holes again, at least I have it on video and you can see my reaction. But it is, you see these big holes? Look at these massive holes in my floorboard. That's definitely where they came from. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that they came out of there and they might have had, might have had them in my apartment before, and this is the first one that I saw and I'm just simply not here for it. So I'm going to try to tape it shut. But I am calling an actual exterminator to come and fix this issue because this tape can only be a temporary solution. I'm going to email them today and ask if they can come and seal it because it's running all along my wall. There's like just a massive hole. So that needs to be fixed as soon as possible because this is just not acceptable in the slightest. That's a, that's a big no-no, a big problem. I don't even think... I properly introduce this vlog, so what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah. I'm clearly living in New York City. Have um, quite the bug problems at the moment. Uh, we've had some gnats, some cockroaches, some water leakage. Um, the New York City apartment sagas never end. I cannot wait until the day that I can afford to live in like a high-rise building that don't, does not have these issues because living in a walk-up building 
that was pre-war is just it's not cutting it for me anymore it really is not i'm i'm not having a good time here anymore really not and ironically i just re-signed my lease for another year so i love that for me i wanted to do an unboxing on camera they have a really exciting package not sponsored but if this company wants to sponsor me in the future i wouldn't um wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> I don't even know if they do sponsorships. So I'm afraid to open this box. I'm now just afraid that like cockroaches and stuff are gonna jump out at me wherever I am in my apartment. I'm confused though because this isn't the normal box that say the company sends. Oh, okay. I got new pillows. And I'm really excited about it, and I feel like this is how I know I'm getting old because I have been tracking these pillows every single day since I bought them, which they were on back order for like three weeks. So if you go to buy caster pillows, just be forewarned that they're not, it's not like super fast shipment. So you might as well just go pick them up at the closest location near you. I feel like that's how you know that you're growing up and getting old when you get excited over things like pillows because I literally stopped the tracking on them every single day until they finally got here today and then the second that they got delivered i ran downstairs to pick them up one so they didn't get stolen because i feel like casper could be a big ticket item that someone would want to steal but also just because i'm excited to finally see these expensive bougie pillows that i ordered and hoping that they like give me a good night's sleep so here's the first one i guess it has to like puff up i'm gonna take it out of the package in my bedroom actually so that it doesn't touch my floor. And I'm gonna keep the box, just in case. We're adulting, guys. Trying to, at least. Sometimes not doing it very successfully, but attempting. This is literally what I'm excited for nowadays. The lighting in this bedroom is so weird right now. I hope they fluff up. These are very different than the ones that I felt in the store. Okay. Do your thing. Next. Oh yeah. I hope these end up better than the ones that I currently have because the ones that I currently have just literally have no structure to them and it honestly makes my neck and back hurt like there's just it's just a flat pillow they're cheap i think they were like from amazon they were not expensive pillows but there's literally nothing to them and these ones they're called the standard pillow from casper they have some like fluff to them you know there's a they're firm but fluffy and there's a distinct place to lay your head which is what we were going for so i'm gonna try these out i'll give a review on them tomorrow after i've actually slept on them i obviously don't want to recommend them now and be like go buy them they're amazing because i have absolutely no clue but i'm gonna put my pillow covers on them try them out tonight fingers crossed that i like them fingers crossed that they actually help me sleep better and i literally couldn't be more excited for this pillows who thought that at the ripe age of 24 i would be getting excited about bed pillows test them out a little bit more but I laid my head down on the pillow and it literally feels like a hotel pillow I am so excited to sleep tonight <laughs> I'm like do I just like take an hour break from work and take a nap now I'm not going to obviously but I'm actually excited to test those pillows out tonight it's like making me excited to literally go to bed I guess that's what expensive pillows do to you they just make you excited to sleep <laughs> It is the next day. Dropped off a of vlogging yesterday. I woke up this morning and was honestly so exhausted. I did not sleep well last night at all. I was literally terrified that I was going to wake up to a cockroach staring me in the face, which I know sounds like a very unreasonable fear and a reason not to sleep. I was just terrified 
because the side of the bed that I sleep on was the side of the co I found the cockroach on. So I was just afraid that I was gonna like wake up and look over and see another cockroach or have one literally staring at me in the face. In addition to that, my super is coming by at like 1 p.m. today to try to patch all of the holes in my floor. And I was like looking around my apartment just to make sure that like I, I have every area that I would want him to patch up. And there are so many places in my floorboard that have massive holes that bugs could like slip into. I don't know why I hadn't seen a cockroach before the other night because there are so many holes in the floorboards. I literally cannot deal and I'm so glad that they're like taking the time to patch them up. Hopefully it's not too much and he can do it all in one day, but it, it's actually insane. I'm gonna show you guys because this is absurd the number of holes that are just massive like gaping holes in the floorboard like literally any creature could come up we have the area that i did the tape on obviously because that was like the biggest hole slash that was where the cockroach came out of the other day and then we have this whole area which is where i normally keep my basket full of blankets so i didn't even realize the cracks were this big here but this needs to be patched up asap i I'm just terrified. Then we have this area. Some nice critters could crawl through there. Also, this looks disgusting. I promise I cleaned my apartment. But for some reason, when people walk on the roof, the brick like falls off of my wall and then just gets everywhere. So I vacuum this really frequently, but it just, I can't keep up with it sometimes. And then last but not least, we have this massive piece of plywood that you can literally peel back. And there's huge, just gaping holes here but i can literally peel this back because it was peeled back this morning and just huge holes and then the same thing on this side just massive holes where bugs could literally crawl into i have no clue how the super is planning on fixing all these holes or if he can even fix all these holes or if someone professional is gonna have to come in and like redo the floorboards honestly not my problem but it is 100% getting fixed if I'm paying rent here this issue is getting resolved because I'll be damned if I wake up to a cockroach staring at me in the face or a little mouse or any other big bug or animal or anything like that it's not happening they're fixing it and I just don't care I don't care who fixes it how they fix it what it costs to fix it they're fixing it for me absurd there's no way that's up to code I feel like if I called someone in that was outside of my apartment building to come and look at that and patch that there's no way it would be up to code because it's just those holes are massive that's just ridiculous so that's hopefully getting fixed today around like 1 p.m. it's like 11 30 now so I have an hour and a half but I spent the morning doing that after my walk we just like moved all the furniture around and made space for him to be able to actually fix it and so hopefully he does or we're gonna have a big issue on our hand i also have the exterminator coming tomorrow to spray every single crack and crevices in this apartment because that was another thing was that we have an exterminator that comes out to my building at least once a month but they don't really tell you what day the exterminator is coming out or like what time so I've been missing him for the like past two months. So I just, when I emailed my building yesterday to be like, can someone come and patch these holes? I was like, can you also send an exterminator out because I keep missing him and I clearly have like a big problem. And so they're sending someone out tomorrow. I don't know if that's like his normal extermination day. Is that the right word, extermination? His normal day to come out, but they're sending him out and he'll be here between like 1 and 5 tomorrow. So, I'm just doing all the works to ensure that we are preventing bugs in this apartment because I cannot continue to have a night's sleep like I had last night because I was literally up, I think like every hour throughout the night just checking to make sure there weren't any cockroaches or like being spooked when I heard a sound or anything like that. It's just... It's not good. I'm not having a good time. I'm a bit paranoid and I just want this whole thing to be gone. I want to lay the issue to rest. But that's what I've been up to this morning and throughout the day I have work. I have a lot of school to do. The super's coming. I need to put my apartment back together once he leaves. All of that jazz. So just wanted to give you guys a quick update because I don't even remember the last thing that I recorded yesterday to be completely honest. I was just in a really weird mood yesterday and was honestly literally exhausted. I've been exhausted this whole week and I have no clue why I don't know what's happening. I don't know if like maybe me just being out and about and 
not really being in my routine and stuff like that for the past couple of months it's just finally catching up to me but i am exhausted this week and it's been like a double coffee every single day type of week so yeah i just i wasn't feeling it yesterday clearly starting today fresh literally have my schoolwork pulled up on my laptop because i have an assignment due tomorrow and a quiz due sunday and i just need to get my life together a little bit more than it already is right. update i've been working all day but the holes are patched. No more bugs for me. Honestly, just glad to have gotten that over with. He told me that apparently before I moved in, they sanded some of like the baseboards or like the crown molding or whatever it's called of my apartment. And they were supposed to fill it in with like the caulking stuff the white stuff that you put it in and they just simply did not do that which is why my baseboards and crown molding was just half finished hence the holes hence the bugs so he went around my apartment and just made sure that all of the big holes were filled in and that we wouldn't have that issue anymore but now that makes total sense as to why there were huge holes i thought it was maybe because like the foundation like would settle like i feel like an older building sometimes the foundation moves i don't know but he was saying that they just simply just just didn't fill it in so that's good i love that for me but it's all taken care of everything's filled in he was super nice my apartment is in shambles i had to move literally everything this is all my nightstand stuff i had to move this off the wall i had to move that off the wall my nightstand is over there i've accumulated quite the mess in the corner over here so safe to say that my apartment is just like a hot mess at the moment does anyone else watch the circle on netflix i actually low-key really like it i think this is like the third season now and they just release a few episodes per week but i think it's like for a netflix tv show that's supposed to mock like a reality tv show it's actually pretty good but i wanted to give my review on the casper pillows because i realized this morning i went on a whole rant about like not sleeping well last night but it was due to like the cockroach situation but these pillows were actually so comfy i swear they feel like hotel pillows definitely worth the price this pillow is the same as the pillow that i took out and replaced with the casper pillow so down the road when i can drop another like 150 dollars because these pillows were expensive for two i think it was like 75 each but i had like a labor day deal or something like that so we got a percentage off down the road i think i'm going to replace these pillows with two more casper pillows because they are so soft and so nice and had nothing to do with me sleeping poorly last night that was 100 percent the bug situation but i just wanted to give an update on this because i was literally editing my vlog this vlog to get ahead on it and realized that i said i'd give a review of the casper pillow once i slept on it and i slept on it and it's good so i'm gonna have both of them linked down below in case you want to splurge or in case you need new pillows and need a recommendation they're worth it in my opinion definitely worth the money because my i woke up and my neck felt good my back felt good and that was the first time in months that i actually wasn't like uncomfortable waking up i have about an hour left of work i took a shower a little midday shower because i'm going out to dinner tonight with my boyfriend and then we're going out to a comedy show with some friends there's this place in new york city in union square called the stand and they have comedy shows i think literally every single night of the week and you can get sh tickets for like 20 bucks 25 bucks it depends on who's performing but they do multiple shows a night i think they're doing like five or six tonight starting at 7 30 there's an outdoor portion there's an indoor portion there's a downstairs portion there's an upstairs portion it's just like this massive stand-up comedian place and you can do drinks dinner all of that jazz but i think we're going to that tonight just to mix it up a little bit we always go out to bars on weekends and we kind of like do the same thing we want to do something fun this weekend so john and i are going to go out to dinner and then we're going to meet up with friends and go to the stand in union square and go see a comedy show i'm excited i love stand up i don't know if i've ever like shared that but i have this weird obsession with stand-up comedy i just think it's so funny and that people are so funny i could never do stand-up comedy myself because i'm not funny like that and i also just don't have the guts to go up in front of people and crack jokes but i think this stand-up comedy is so funny i love the specials on netflix but like seeing it in person is just something else so we're doing that tonight so i took a midday shower just to prep myself because i'm gonna have to put on makeup in a little bit and do my hair and pick up and pick out an outfit but i wanted my hair to dry before we went tonight but just wanted to like catch you guys up give a review of the caster pillows tell you my plans for the night i think i'm gonna carry this vlog into tonight and tomorrow i want this to be like a long few days in my life and then i'll probably end it off 
tomorrow because Sunday my dad comes to pick my boyfriend and I up and we're going back to Virginia for an entire week. So Sunday I won't be vlogging because I'll literally be in the car all day headed back to Virginia. The day. Or do you wanna do you wanna do your outfit of the day? No, I mean I wear this outfit. Okay, outfit of I guess the night. Top is Princess Polly. Skirt might also be Princess Polly. Air Force Ones. My typical gold jewelry, gold hoops. We're headed out to dinner. They're going to stand. When you stare at me like that, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> he turns around. Apparently it's hot outside. I thought it was raining and I and cold, and apparently it's like really hot. So. That's news to my ears, so I was gonna wear jeans and potentially like a button down shirt, but this is the last minute outfit change, which I don't mind. Leather skirt season, it's back. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I'm currently laying in bed vlogging because <laughs> your girl is slightly hung. Just a little bit too much to drink last night. I didn't even really drink that much. No, that's a lie. I definitely did. I think the majority of it is like the sugar that makes me feel so sick. But anyways, it's Saturday morning. I've been up since 8 and it's now 11 and I'm getting ready to order Starbucks to go pick it up because I'm lazy. Also, I just like don't have any food in my apartment right now because my dad is going to pick us up tomorrow and we're leaving for a week so I didn't go grocery shopping at all. So I feel like I can justify this purchase, you know? Yeah, last night was a lot of fun. The stand-up comedy place was a good time. I just like love stand-up comedians and I think that the more recent that they started, so like the younger comedians, are always the funnier comedians because I feel like they have to try a little bit harder, you know what I mean? I think we saw like five or six comedians or something of that sort. It was like four or five and then obviously the main act. Overall, it was so funny. We had such a good time. It's just nice to like mix it up every now and then from just going to a normal bar and spending 25 bucks on a comedy show is just such an easy way to do something fun and different on a Friday night. The drinks were definitely a bit pricey if you guys end up going to the stand in Union Square. Just be forewarned that they're like 15 to 20 dollars a drink and so if you order more than one obviously it gets a little bit pricey but that's just you know the price you pay to laugh your booty off yeah last night was fun and then we ended up going to this place for a hot second called the beauty salon the beauty shop some bar over near union square where it's literally like an old-fashioned beauty salon but turned into a bar and they were playing like old-timey music and we were dancing and having a good time and then we left and got Domino's Pizza and hung out at our friend's apartment for a little bit and then we came back here and knocked and now I'm up and at him, unfortunately. I really wish I was still sleeping right now, but I do need to get up and get my day started. The exterminator's coming over at 1 o'clock, well between 1 and 5, which is like a very large window of time. So I have to be in my apartment for when he gets here to let him in so that he can spray. And then I have some homework to do today. I have an assignment that's due today, tonight actually. And then I have a quiz that's due tomorrow, but tonight I have plans. And tomorrow I'll be in the car all day, so I don't really want to take a quiz tomorrow in the car. So I'll probably just do that quiz. I also need to pack, which I normally don't pack this late or like think about packing this late. But I literally have no clue what to bring. But I feel like it's like I'm not going on vacation, like I'm going home. I'm going to my parents' house. So a lot of it is just going to be me bringing all of my laundry and then just like sweatpants and cozy outfits to wear for the week. I'll probably bring like maybe one or two things just in case we like go to out to dinner or something. But for the most part, I literally am just going to be hanging out at home. So no pressure there to pack anything. So like that won't be that big of a deal, but I do need to do that today at some point. But first things first, I need to get some food into my body because my body is like, home girl, you had one too many drinks. Now feed me with some nutritious goodies. So by nutritious goodies, I mean a bacon gouda and egg sandwich from Starbucks with a pumpkin cream iced coffee maybe? That kind of sounds good. That's a lot of sugar though. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and update you guys. I vlogged a little bit at dinner last night. Oh yeah, that's the, another thing is dinner was also really good. We went to Westville, which is like a chain in the city. I don't know if they have it outside of the city, but it's like a healthier restaurant. You can go and get, they honestly have a wide variety of stuff. I also have heard that they have a really good brunch, but we've never been to the brunch, but 
We've been to dinner there twice now and I always get the market vegetable platters. They have like a long list of vegetables that you can choose from and then you get to pick four and then they bring them out. But they're made to the point where they don't really taste like vegetables. So they have like Brussels sprouts, pesto mashed potatoes, garlic mashed potatoes, broccoli, asparagus, yucca fries, like you name it, they probably have it on that list. They also have other things, like we literally got chicken tenders as an appetizer and then got market vegetables as the meal. But it's overall a really good restaurant. I think it's like a chain in the city, but there is one in the East Village. So that's the one that we went to. I'm gonna stop procrastinating because that's what I'm doing at this point and rambling, but I just wanted to give you guys an update and say happy Saturday. Guys, I am head captain of the struggle bus today. I got Starbucks. I'm still drinking the coffees over there on my nightstand and food and I thought it would revive me and it did not revive me So now I don't know what to do, but I know I need to get out of bed. My apartment is a bit in shambles I need to pack. I need to do homework I have so many things that I need to do that does not involve laying in my bed. Also, is this not focused? I am just mm, I'm tired <laughs> Staying out till 1 a.m. And then getting up at 8 a.m. Was not it. Not it. Not the vibe. Not the mood should not have done that. I'm gonna make my bed so that I can't get back in it. And I feel like that's a good start. Actually, before I make my bed, I bought this on Amazon the other day and it came in yesterday. I just like forgot to show it. It's obviously the vacuum. It's not that special, but I haven't been able to vacuum behind my bed since I literally moved in because I can't reach it because the bed's too heavy to move. So it's just been collecting dust for the past eight months, which is so nasty. But I finally bought a vacuum that can reach all the places that I wasn't able to reach before. So I'm gonna vacuum behind my bed before I do anything. And I think that this is in right. I have no clue. This is the back life. It's from Amazon. It was like literally 30 bucks and so far it's been working great. This is long overdue. Guys, it still doesn't fit. What the heck? That's so annoying. It doesn't freaking fit in the crack. This portion of the vacuum is too big. So I either need to buy an extension that's like even longer than this one or just like never vacuum back there until I move out. Wait, that's literally so annoying. I love this for me. I finished packing all of my clothes. I literally threw the most random stuff in here. This is also over 50 pounds. So I'm definitely gonna have to bring a carry-on bag because I'm flying back. My dad is picking us up, but then I'm flying back. So I need to figure out an extra bag to bring. But this is my pile of stuff that's going home. This is my dad's stuff. This is stuff I'm donating. It's just easier to donate in Virginia versus New York, I feel like. This is my parents' suitcase, my suitcase, and then I need to pack my backpack, my work laptop, but I feel like I've made some good progress. My apartment was a little bit disheveled and all over the place before, so I feel like I'm slowly but surely putting everything back together and where it belongs. I just need to stop procrastinating and do homework because I haven't done that yet and I just don't feel like it. My brain is not in homework mode. I'm watching the circle, clearly, instead of doing homework. Sliding is something else. I do not know how to resolve that issue because if I go this way, it's backlit. So maybe I'll just keep it like that. Just ignore the lines across my face. The exterminator just stopped by and he sprayed my apartment in like the areas where I was most concerned about. Honestly, I really shouldn't have a bug issue anymore because they sealed everything yesterday, but on the off chance that they didn't seal like absolutely everything, he just went ahead and sprayed the areas that I was most concerned about. Thankfully, that is off of my list of things to do. Like I said, I'm done packing for right now. I'm sitting at this table trying to prepare to do homework. I <laughs> just don't want to do it. It's Excel based and I'm like, why can I not escape Excel? Like, why is Excel coming back to haunt me in every course? I don't get it. I don't understand. I let by straight till the morning. Oh, how we keep it going. This love is only mine. I am so excited. I ordered a new desk chair from Wayfair like two days ago. And it came in today. And I, first of all, I'm out of breath. I literally just carried up this entire box up the stairs by myself. I hope this is not in a million one pieces because I don't know how I'm gonna put it together if it's in a million one pieces. Okay, this should be fun, but I got a leather swivel one to match these chairs because I was using these chairs 
as my desk chair for a really long time and I'm just tired of dragging it back and forth. So I bought an actual desk chair that wasn't that expensive, but now I have to figure out how to put it all together. So this is really gonna test my patience. Guess I should start by pulling everything out of the box. There are too many parts in here. Wait, there are no instructions. Why is there so much tape also? Ow, 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 ow! This is off to a good start. And you know I'm carrying a world. So just fuck me like the side boy. Save me from all of the pain and the drama. I'm playing whisper down the lane with my problems. Smells like a new- oh, here are the instructions. Smells like a new leather chair. Step one. I gotta do the wheels, I guess. And there's no one here. Can I shed the tear? Can you love me? Oh, so baby, can you love me? So love my body. I'm honestly a little bit skeptical because that was almost too easy to put together. I'm afraid I'm gonna like sit in it and it's gonna fall apart. Just think about now. Oh my gosh, it works. Look at me go. Now we just have to see what it looks like with the desk. But I'm impressed and it's comfy. I wanted something with arms. I was just so tired of these chairs because these chairs are cool if you're only sitting in it for an hour or so to eat dinner. But not for an eight, nine hour work day. Not so chill, so I'm excited for this. It looks so official now, obviously. It doesn't really match that well. Honestly, this desk is like a temporary situation. And when I move out of this apartment, the desk will be going away because it was like literally 70 bucks from Amazon. And I bought it specifically for this corner. But realistically, if I continue to work from home, I would want like a bigger desk. I think for the time being, this is a nice little, little setup. Catch the work from home vibes changing with this chair. And the fact that it goes up and down is even better. Ending on kind of work I'm doing, I can sit up or can just vibe. Great purchase, but give me go. Winna, I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. It was pretty affordable, I think it was like 140 or something. And honestly, for a decent desk chair, that's not a bad price. The other ones that I'm looking at were like well above what I was willing to spend for a desk chair. So when I found one that was affordable, than that. I had to full send on it. And on that note, I finished the assignment that I had due today for school and all I have left to do is the quiz and the response, but those aren't due until tomorrow. So I'll probably like just take a little brain break and then maybe do it either later tonight or tomorrow morning. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog because I feel like it was really eventful. And I am honestly just gonna lay in bed for a little bit. We have some plans later tonight. We have like a housewarming party to go to, so. I just want to take some time, lay in bed, and like decompress before I have to go be social again. So that's my plan for the evening, but I wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. If you made it to the end, you guys are a real one because this is a long vlog of mine. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for your constant support. If you're not subscribed already, subscribe down below to stick around for more New York City content. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, bye.